Yes, sir. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. You may be seated. Oh. Family and friends of Brandon and Vanessa, I welcome you to this joyous celebration of their union. Marriage is a sacred institution as old as love itself, and without doubt represents the most meaningful of bonds that a couple can share. It is with this in mind that I ask you all to reflect on the magnitude of what you are present to witness as we come together to support this union and rejoice in the beginning of their married life together. Like a pair of celestial bodies whizzing through the cosmos, they came into one another's orbit and are now bound for eternity. Marriage is the ultimate act of commitment you can make to one another, and a planned ceremony like this is not what defines it for you, but rather the love, passion, support, loyalty, and encouragement that you share for one another. Remember, marriage is like a towering inferno, and it's easy at the beginning to stand in awe of its power and intensity, but it's imperative that you continue to feed that flame with the fuel that is your unending dedication, support for one another, communication, and drive to assist one another in achieving your life goals, both individually and as a couple. Before we continue our celebration, I'd like to share with you all a brief reading from The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> but now, says the Wunzler, now that you're here, the word of the Lorax seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you, who cares an awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So catch, calls the Wunzler. He let something fall. It's a trufula seed, the last one of all. You're in charge of the last of the trufula seeds, and trufula trees are what everyone needs. Plant a new trufula and treat it with care. Give it clean water and feed it fresh air. Grow a forest and protect it from axes that hack then the Lorax and his friends may come back. <laughs> Treat your marriage like a truthful tree. It will bring beauty and joy to yourselves and those around you. So just like a truthful tree, you will need the nurturing and caring to continue bringing that joy that I'm certain that the both of you can provide for one another. And with both of you having meditated on the implication and magnitude of this union, I'll ask that you now read your vows for one another. Vanessa, I love you so incredibly much. It didn't take much time before I knew that you were the person that I wanted to spend the rest of my life. <coughs> I am so lucky that you're going to let me. You are usually the most talented, funny, creative, possibly gorgeous person that I've ever met. <coughs> Nessa, I take you as you are, loving who you are now and who are yet to become. I promise to listen to you and learn from you, to support you and accept your support. I will celebrate your triumphs, mourn your losses as though they were my own. I will comfort you in time of distress and strife. I will create with you and encourage your individual growth. I will love you and have faith in your love for me through all your years and all your... <clears throat> and all that life may bring us. I will cherish you in fraternity, and above all, respect you as my partner, lover, and equal. Your turn. <laughs> Brandon, my whole life I have known myself to be very indecisive, but marrying you is the easiest decision I ever had to make. Through the years, you've helped me grow, made me whole, and loved me unconditionally. You are my best friend, my flame, the light of my life. You are all I could have ever asked for in a life partner. <laughs> Brandon, I take you as you are, loving you now and for who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you and learn from you, to support you and accept your support. I will celebrate your triumph and mourn your losses as though they were my own. I will comfort you in times of stress and strife. I will create with you and encourage your individual growth. I will love you and have faith in your love for me through all of our years and all that life may bring us. I will cherish you into eternity and above all, respect you as my partner, my lover, and my equal. 
Do you, Brandon, accept Vanessa as your wife? Promise to love and support her through the hard times and the good, to celebrate her baby and praise her like you should, and be excellent to each other, as long as the Sange is sur la branche, and as long as you both shall live? I do. Ring on her finger and repeat after me, please. This ring represents our love, no beginning and no end. This ring represents our love, no beginning, no end. And my status is your partner, your lover, and friend. <laughs> my status as your partner, your lover, and friend. And Vanessa, do you accept Brandon as your husband and promise to love and support him through the hard times and the good, to celebrate him, baby, and praise him like you should? and be excellent to each other as long as the sand is sur la branche and as long as you both shall live. I do. Can I please have the ring? If you would place the ring on his finger and repeat after me, please. This ring represents our love, no beginning and no end. This ring represents our love, no beginning and no end. My status is your partner. <laughs> My status is your partner. Your lover and friend. Your lover and friend. The love these two share is a source of strength for not only each other, but the world around them. And in turn, we, their friends and family, owe them the responsibility of our support. Will everyone please rise? If anyone today objects this union, well, that ship already sailed and you're at the wrong party. So. <laughs> Will everyone here promise to surround them with support, joy, and happiness? And it is with that support we send you forward into your married life, as I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brandon and Vanessa Beach. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.